Greetings, unsettled souls. Oh, don't tune out. You guys all wait to see what's going to happen around April Fool's Day. Well, you're getting a sneak preview, friends. Buddy Puff, the, the intern for the correct views. He's going to give you a little bit of a show update, and uh, we're going to see if he can get through this uh, well. I loaned him my uh, concert t-shirt, and I'd like him to address that first. Again, for those of you that don't know what the show does on April the 1st, on Halloween and on 420, and on Friday the 13th, do not tune out. All of the stories are real. There's two of them. The characters are fake. Your first night, the fake character is your favorite, by vote, Buddy Puff. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that came on time for this one. Check this out, man. I'm wearing the Judas Priest shirt, because I can semi be over there, man. He got the most successful non-political article ever. Even though, like, the publicist from Judas Priest was, like, probably smoking weed. Because, man, like, he went ahead and promised Sam backstage passes, but he didn't get him. But he did get, like, free tickets, didn't you? Buddy, buddy, I told you not to mention that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Just go on. All right. Well, like, well, while you guys are tuning in, I got two stories to get to, man. We do this on April Fool's Day. And, like, what we're doing is thanking all of you for tuning in, because Christelle normally does, like, the stuff for this, but she's not able to be here because she got in, like, a pissing match, and, like, she started poisoning boy bands, like, in sync. Yeah, I mean, like, once you address a problem by using a boy band, then I guess you can't improve where you are in the conversation. Let me get a drink. Buddy, you're making it worse. Just do the news, please. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't do that right. All right, here we go. I got everybody tuned in, man, and it's like the correct views. I got the volume turned down, man. And we got two segments to get to, and we're going to get to them back to back. Again, it's the April Fool's show, and I'm Buddy Puff. The first story comes here from AOL News, like America Online, back when you had to, like, plug your phone in. Less than one ounce of marijuana leads to arrests of more than 60 Georgia party goers. Man, this was like a major downer, and it so really happened. You could say, oh, well, I said it did, man. At least 63 people were arrested over the weekend. This is like a few weekends ago. And suspicion of possessing less than an ounce of weed. Oh. <gasps> Who's after police were unable to identify the actual owner of the drug stash found at a house party in Cartersville, Georgia, over the weekend. Again, the weekend that it happened, not like the 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 weekend later. Buddy, just do the report. Oh, I got sidetracked. Cartersville police said they arrived at the party built as lingerie themed 21st birthday bash. According to Wixia, I guess that's WXIA TV, man. It was about 2.20, like two hours before the golden time, man. It was on Sunday they received a 911 call about possible gunshots, yo. Police who called in the county drug task force to assist in the investigation, they found two firearms, like, dose at the scene, dude, including one that had been reported stolen in Detroit, as well as several smoking devices and suspected cocaine. I don't know anything about any cocaine. 
<laughs> like or weed. Uh, officers also found less than an ounce of weed, which I don't know anything about, man. Reported in Cartersville, the Daily Tribune. When one admitted, to, when no one, I should say, admitted to owning it, they all got popped. All the subjects at the residence were like placed under arrest just for a little bit of weed, man. And it was according to the Bartlow Carlisville Drug Force. It was like a major downer, I guess. So what I got to say is this, man. There's a reason why people don't respect law enforcement. And it's not because we don't appreciate what you do every day. It's because we don't appreciate some of the bullcrap that you do every day, man. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> you could have been a little more tactful, buddy, but you only got one left. Keep going. <laughs> I will, man, because I'm doing, like, a killer job this time. And I can tell because I'm doing... Hey, right, maybe I can't tell. Ch guys, this is from the smoking gun. Man force-fed goat cocaine and booze, according to the cop. <laughs> hey, Sam, what do you think of that? I covered that for the conservative Daily Post. Is that the one that you're reading from? No, man, I messed up. I got this one from the smoking gun. I'm not surprised, buddy. You're an idiot. Just do it. <laughs> All right, you man. I'll do better next time, man. This is a... I probably won't, I lied. February 16th, but it's still worth hearing because the guy's like totally mental, man. A horse trainer, man. A horse. And Chris Dell, man. A horse trainer is locked up on felony animal cruelty charge after Georgia cops obtained video showing him force feeding a goat cocaine and whiskey, man. Like the horse didn't get it, but the coat, man, was like all out trip party in here, you know what I mean? Deputies with the Gunwent County Sheriff's Office yesterday, like when it was yesterday then, arrested Sergio Palamestra Guzan. He was like 28 years old, and they caught him at a farm in Grayson where he lives and works, man. Pictured it right, and <laughs> I'll show you maybe before I log off, man. He's being held in jail on $11,200 bond, which, like, he probably already spent on drugs that he gave the goat, man. However, he's also subject to an immigration and customs enforcement detainer, apparently because he's like an illegal alien buying goat's weed and stuff, man. And they were mad because he wasn't buying that for, like, American citizens. I mean, they, they don't, I, I don't think that's what that means, buddy. Well, <laughs> that's what I took from it anyway, man. Apparently, Miss Guzman was busted after a tipster ratted him out to investigators with a video featuring him holding a goat's horns while second dude was, like, inserting cocaine into the animal's nostril. So, like, he didn't even want to do the drug. He just sort of ended up doing it because they had him by the horns, yo. And he shared the video of the incident in January and, like, the goat dude guy was arrested. And the animal, like, protection agency is going to get it. What do you think of that? I think that's me, friends. I think that's Sam I.B. We're going to go ahead and do a few of these this week. It is, of course, uh, the way we cover April Fool's Day. But because I don't have anybody here to help me, I'm doing them in segments. It's your first one. Again, the news was real. The way I presented it was fake, but all the stories are real. And uh, let me know what you think of it. There'll be other ones coming, but not from Buddy Puff. You won't hear from Buddy until the 20th. But here is the gentleman who I had spoken of. Good night, friends. God bless. Let me know what you think. How did you like it? Was it a better Buddy character or worse, the same? Let me know.